We survived. But the captain... Captain Tiger knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. The ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to blow my ship into space junk. And, um, because Starfleet always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair? Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from Caden. Three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple the ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to war. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need.
These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Zarva's dealing with the warp warp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Cleon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it! I can trace the plasma signature right to the source! I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your death swim! Thank you. 
Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth's space dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown out. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. <laughs> 